Hey, have you ever had an idea that your friends gave you and you just thought it was ridiculous, but you decided to make with it anyways? Or, how about an idea that would try and fix the inventory system, because Minecraft's inventory system is a mess that nobody wants to deal with? Or, have you ever had an idea in which you could have multifunctional blocks that can do more than one thing, such as catching yourself from falling, and also being able to drink it? Have you ever wanted to preserve the old versions of Minecraft and keep them into your world forever for good safe keepings? I introduce you, the Rose. Or are you more someone who says, I like the way Minecraft the way it is, but I would like it a little bit better. If you want to go real crazy, you can make some se never seen before items that give you special effects, and probably do some other functions. Out of coding for more than a year, one of the most common requests that I've gotten to make was for food. And in this, I'll be able to show you all the food that you'll be able to want to make. I can show you some cool ideas that can annoy your friends, such as making trees that can't break, leaves that can't break. I got some mobs that are not only invisible, but that give you dangerous effects that will not allow you to heal. And, or even mobs that do a massive amount of damage to make the game even harder. Alright! So with everything, with that, all that code ideas in mind, let's actually take a look at some code. Let's explain some things about what really the code is and um, the importances of some stuff. So this is my current version that I am working on. We are going to be completely starting over from scratch. We're not starting with Mark 69, which is actually now Mark 70, and when 1.20 comes out, It'll be Mark 71. It doesn't really matter. But when we come into uh, starting over, I mean, we're going to be starting over. So don't worry about all these classes and all this fun stuff we're going to be making. I'm just going to mention that if you have any issues, I do have a GitHub. So if I was to type in for GitHub, I do have, if you want to look at the advanced code, you can look in by here, and then you can see uh, the updates. You got 2.7, 2.8, 2.9. And if you're just trying to look at the code as I go, I have a Minecraft tutorial. And um, I don't know if you simply just tried to, to just download the code into a zip file uh, and then just open it up. I don't know if that's going to work. I'm going to show you from scratch how to basically make this initial commitment in which uh, we have uh, literally like, we have like two things in here. That This is the mod. <laughs> it just opens up Minecraft. There's nothing that's actually added. I'm just gonna point out some of the things, but that's going to be the next video. That's gonna be part of setup. But every time you have an issue, um, this would be the place to go. I'll probably use a, um, probably a link in the description is probably best. Now, the next thing that I want to explain is that I am not using really mixins. So there are a couple mixins. Um, the entity the for the sign. This is also for the sign. And then this is for potion brewing. Other than that, there is um, no mixins. I do not like using mixins. Um, they are complicated. They are a big mess. There are some times that um, they could cause issues if you don't know what you're doing, um, but there, I mean, there's like a, there's a tutorial series on mixins that isn't completed yet, but as of now, uh, without mixins, the idea is, so what a mixin is, is it's basically modifying Minecraft code, so I could have something in Minecraft do something in Minecraft. Without that, Minecraft will always be the starting piece. And if you want to do something in your mod, Minecraft has to point to something in your mod. I have an example set up. This is an advanced example, but it, it's really complicated, but it will show you the individual pieces. So basically, I have an item, right? And I want the item that if I click on a Minecraft block, that it will do something. So I basically hey, have here, this is the, the finished result. So. I click on the soul sand, it turns the soul sand into soul soil, it turns the bone block into skull catalyst. Now, that was all done instantaneously, so you couldn't really tell what was going on. The truth of it is, I am making 
Minecraft is has my item. My item can now deal with anything, whether it's my mod or Minecraft's. So I'm touching Minecraft block, and I'm saying change the block when I use this item. And it does that. It turns this thing into, well, it looks like Skulk, but if I look it, over here, it's called Sand Skulk. And so what Sand Skulk does is it looks for a bone block. If there is a bone block and we use some of that Sand Skulk, it will now turn the bone into um, the Skulk Catalyst and will turn the Skulk into um, the, the soil. So the true process is we have soul sand, sand skulk, and uh, then we have oh, sand soil. But because this happens instantaneously, it appears like an illusion, like the sand is turning into soil. We can watch it again. I'm telling you, it is instantaneous. So if you happen to, if you just see it for a frame, I mean, I can try and slow it down for you. I can guarantee you're not going to see it. But it gives off the illusion, and that's what we're running off of. No matter what, you have to use Minecraft format is what I'm going to call it. And this is how I'm going to be describing it to you as I'm teaching you something. Basically, we're going to have item, use on block, and turn, and, and then it's going to be repeated. So that that is the idea, right? And then the next step would be I want block to turn into block. And then I want block if it t touches block that it'll turn into block so that is complicated and then on top of that I say if if this block touches this block it'll turn this block into this block and that's how we end up with this result another thing is, that I have a double pace for is that in survival uh, for the um, sand skull if I just click on it it'll turn the disk fragment into disk fragment 5 that's why these are in here so, with that in mind, that is that is how I, I'm showing you. You have to just you have to think it out very carefully. You have to think it out very slowly, but you have to just as basic as it is, just say I want item to touch block, and then and, and just go work from there. Want block to turn into block. Um, let's let's take a look at the the, the code for how this is done. Just just for to just to just show you, I guess. <laughs> so we have a, a item, uh, the disk fragment, and the way I did this is, I remember the first step was I want item to turn into block. So I have to use use on block, right? And so you can tell that with the item, the hotel, uh, it's basically using it as if a hoe. What does a hoe do? It is an item. That when I touch uh, dirt, it turns into soil. So I'm saying have my item, my fragment, touch soul sand and basically uh, create till action in which it will create sand sulk. And then on top of that, I basically said item stack, use it and exchange it, change the disk fragment and change it into item disk fragment 5. <coughs> And then on top of that, we have the other thing. We have the block, custom, sand skulk. Now this, if you were to guess what this does, what what block touches something and changes both blocks? If you guessed the sponge block, then you'd be correct. The sponge block is a block that touches a block. It, it touches the water. Although it's a fluid, it is a block. And basically, it updates that sponge and turns it into wet sponge so basically i'm saying turn sand skulk and when it updates turn it into sand soil soul soil and then when it absorbs the lava the what we're making it touch um oh wait if this is supposed to be absorbed water i changed this because it came from my pumice block ignore that Anyways, when it is what it is absorbing in this case is it is sucking it up the 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 water, and in this case the water would be the bone block, and the bone block is a skull catalyst. Now it's not going to be ridiculous. Like it's not like if you had a bunch of bones around, 
um, that the Skull Catalyst would suck all of them and turn them all into Catalysts because I basically have it set. Zero. One block. If it's one block away from the thing, then it will um, then it'll do that. So don't try and use it for extreme amounts. It won't work like that. It'll just look for something that is one block away. Um, but that, 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 I mean, that's how it's pointed to. Now, if that was complicated, I would say that this was an advanced uh, example. But because of how advanced it is, I think it is the perfect example to show you that without a mixin, because we're not using mixins, we're going to be taking something from Minecraft, mod, Minecraft, mod, Minecraft. And you, that, that, is, that is the entire process. But when you say Minecraft, you have to specify what you want, what you're doing. I want, so Minecraft, Minecraft always starts and asserts that Minecraft registers your mod. But when you want to do something, you have to think to yourself um, by the format. So we're going to say, is it a mod item? Is it a mod block, a mod entity, a mod fluid? And so there's all those things that we're talking about. When we're, when we're talking about all these things, what are we using? A mod effect, a fluid, item, painting, potion, recipe? Uh, screens are something else. Sounds, well, we're going to talk about it in a second. <laughs> um, but that that's what it is. It, it's literally just Minecraft. And, and, and that's just how we're just going to be going through the series. I'm going to try and describe it basically like that using Minecraft format. And then I will slowly explain each one. Uh, but each tutorial, as the, as the videos go on, the videos are going to go by quickly. But the tutorials will be explained carefully. So hopefully you'll be able to uh, stick in with us. This. this is basically kind of like a little showcase. Don't try and copy all this unless you know what you're doing. <laughs> I mean, you could, like I said, it, um, there is a GitHub. Sometimes when we update, so I update the Minecraft uh, per per update, and every time that happens, a lot of things change. When I started my mod in 1.17, I moved to 1.18. I was very frustrated because the trees. So in 1.17, there's this thing called apply chance. In 1.18, they got rid of it. And so I was able to make a tree that was chunks, like I could make like one and two hundred chunks, and I was able to make the rarest tree ever, and it was the coolest thing. Then they got rid of it, and then it's like trees will now spawn in like every chunk that you'll possibly ever live in, and I was like, no, please stop. Um, there are some times when things update, and I'm I'm working on fixing them. Sounds I have not been able to fix. Uh, if I come out here for a moment, uh, you can see that this is the problem. Um, it's right here, but I haven't been able to fix it yet. When it comes down to certain items, there's something that I like to call called uh, being 80% there. It doesn't matter with code. Code has to be perfect. If you are not, if it's not 100% correct, it's broken. <laughs> if it's not working, it's broken. <laughs> Um, so this is what I would call 80% there. There are, there are no issues, right? So, I mean, if I even wanted to make it completely clean. So if I got rid of this, and then I get rid of this, and this, and then I make this, I can do this. Replace, and replace. It now says the code is completely perfect, good to go. I know if I load this, if I load this, and I try and use the item, it's not going to do what I want. The idea is I'm going to take the, um, I'm going to set my game mode to survival, <coughs> and it's not going to, it's not going to do that. <laughs> I, I know for a fact. So we're just going to go back to where I was, so I don't lose my spot. But that is, that is generally, you know, how things go. This is the point where you want to put your head through a brick wall or throw your computer at, uh, in a pond. <laughs> Jump in and after. Then, you know, <laughs> go to bed early, get some sleep, <laughs> get some serious sleep, <laughs> sleep on it. But if you're ever getting frustrated with code, I'm still generally actually new to code. So this is the point where I'd be like, I'm sorry. If it doesn't, if, if there's something wrong with it, it's either going to be, I mean, these are just issues I can't fix. So either there is something where it underlines it and I just don't know how to fix it or 
it is completely fixed, but it just doesn't work. If I was to use it, nothing in the world happens. And I'm like, great. Just what I wanted. <laughs> but this is the frustrating part, and although things are frustrating, the only thing that I would suggest doing is that um, trying to work or improve on some stuff. I mean, there is plenty of things that I'll be showing you guys how to do. So um, take what you know, take what you have, and make as much of, you know, make, make a real idea and try and work with it as much as you can. And, and with that, Hopefully we'll we'll be uh, we'll be going places, you know. We'll be going places together. There's there's plenty of stuff that I know how to how to make, but throughout the Minecraft like 1.20, I have no idea what's going to be happening to the armors because they have the armor trims and stuff like that. So I'm probably gonna have to redo the armors. So that's gonna be really annoying. So hopefully I don't have to. Hopefully it's not too complicated. <laughs> but anyways, that hopefully is not all too complicated for you guys. Like I said, I'm gonna be explaining it their Minecraft format, we're going to be having a go, we're going to be, you know, trying to go through it carefully, and, um, hopefully, um, hopefully we don't run into any, too many issues, but, as of now, that is all I'm going to be explaining in this video, it's just some odd stuff, um, basically, if, another thing is, like, custom, it, custom is a collection of stuff that I have made, but an actual, if something is labeled mod, it is because it comes from Minecraft, so I can't make something called Piston Block because there's already something called Piston Block. The code is going to get confused and say, all right, which one are you talking about? So just put mod in front of it if you're copy casing like that. But we're going to explain all that anyways. Um, but that that is generally, that that that's, that's what it's going to be. Um, so hopefully this wasn't too much. Thank you guys so much for watching. And without further ado, 